Hey, happy Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I uh, just want to give you a quick update here. I, I did a video last week on this too, but I want to follow up with it too with some more information. It looks like inflation could be about 7.5% year over year, uh, which is extremely, extremely high and it's getting worse and worse. Okay. So when you hear that the Fed is hiking uh, interest rates, it has nothing to do with long-term mortgage rates. Okay. Take, take that and throw it out of your mind. Okay. The news media is going to screw it all up. They're going to say this. They're going to say that. They screw it up all, all the time. So this is what it is. The, when the Fed says that they're going to hike the rate, they're, they're talking about the short-term interest rates when banks lend to each other, okay, when money goes back and forth. And the byproduct of that is HELOCs going up, uh, car loans going up, short-term loans going up. It's got nothing to do with the 30-year fixed mortgages, okay? So, so keep that over here for a second. Now... What's affecting rates now? Why rates are starting to creep up? Uh, first thing is inflation. Inflation is the arch enemy of bonds, okay? So anytime you see inflation getting uh, worse and worse and worse, that's what happens, okay? Um, and then the other thing is, this is very important, okay? You heard this two years ago about quantitative easing and, and all this other stuff and heard that before, before two years ago, actually. Now you hear quantitative tightening, Okay, what does that mean? That means they're going to slow down, even though they're not slowing down yet. I think they bought about 100 billion, uh, 100 billion of bonds last month. Um, but basically, when they say quantitative tightening, okay, they're letting some of these uh, bonds roll off the balance sheet. Okay, that's going to jack up rates. Okay, because they're going to have to eventually. They can't keep on just buying this and buying this and buying this. It's just crazy. So, uh, so keep. Keep, uh, you know, on target for that, you know, keep your ears open for that. Because if they say that quantitative tightening, which they did last week, um, you know, basically stop eventually buying mortgage-backed securities, that's going to push up interest rates, okay? So it's not the Fed necessarily, uh, you know, increasing the rate. Once again, that has nothing to do with long-term rates. The short-term rates are based on, you know, basically between bank and bank lending between each other, Okay. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? But but there's gonna be a lot of chatter on this, uh, saying that the Fed's rate, you know, raising rates. People are automatically gonna think it's uh, mortgage rates. You know, back in when COVID hit, people say when they dropped it down to zero, people actually thought mortgage rates was zero, and and that's understandable because they constantly get hammered from the media. They don't know they're 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 running around and, and doing their own things, you know. So I try to get this information out to you so you can understand the differences of it. Very important. To understand that, so when you're talking to other people or for yourself, you understand exactly what's what's happening. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon.